This is the 2011 Crew 272 Wilderness First Aid class. Thanks to PHI and the awesome PHI helicopter crew for flying in. When setting up a landing zone, find a level hard surface or grass area, 100 by 100 foot, and no less than 60 by 60. Pilots prefer to land and take off much like an airplane. A straight up and down landing consumes much more fuel. Terrain slope greater than 5 degrees is also troublesome. To ensure safe operations, a mutually agreed upon radio channel and call sign should be established when the medevac helicopter request is made. Okay, no one approach the helicopter until the pilot gets out and approaches us. Okay, in the off chance that they get a call and have to leave fast, be prepared for them to say that and get away quickly. Marking the landing zone corners with bright orange traffic cones on their side pointing in and a fifth cone can be used to indicate the wind direction. Never use flares, scene tape, or other items that could fly up into the helicopter. Never approach a landing helicopter unless told to by the flight crew members. Keep everyone back 200 feet. Hazmat decontamination must be done before landing and loading the patient, and oversized patients can be an issue. Using a medevac helicopter is an expensive option. Medical necessity should be your guide in making the request. If the mechanism of injury or condition of the patient and or transport time create a medical necessity, never hesitate. The sound of an arriving medevac helicopter will be music to your ears. Remember, definitive treatment within the golden hour is life-saving. Thanks again to the PHI crew and the Crew 272 Wilderness First Aid students. Catch us on the internet at crew272.com. Like us on Facebook. Search Crew Space 272. Crew 272 will be offering Wilderness First Aid in 2012 in April, two sessions, and an advanced Wilderness First Aid class in September. Again, check it out. Crew272.com. Well, he goes in flames from shooting out the back. The compressor is stalled. Yeah. 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 And I noticed that there actually are the six veins there. So, you could certainly lose a couple of limbs, but I don't think that you would necessarily go out of way to do it. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to try it. Tremendous day.